is Alex. I'm a musician and composer. I'm currently going to school for music and this semester I enrolled in a class where I have to learn how to play brass instruments. These classes are usually taken during your first or second semester, but because I'm so great at scheduling, I'm taking it during my fifth year of college. But I wanted to use this as an opportunity to expand my musical knowledge and compositional skills. So for the next month, I will be learning how to play the trumpet. That's the first instrument I was assigned for the class. I want to spend 30 days, one whole month, trying my hardest to actually learn the trumpet. You don't normally walk out of these classes proficient in those instruments. These classes are more designed to teach you how to teach beginners at that instrument. But I want to see how far I can take it in one month. And at the end of this month, I will write a piece featuring the trumpet as the main solo instrument. My primary instrument is voice, and I've never touched a trumpet or any brass instrument ever. So I've definitely got my work cut out for me. Me, but I'm really excited to see how far I can get in 30 days. All right, so I am on my way right now to go pick up the trumpet. I'm renting it from a company for the class because I don't really want to buy one just yet. I have enough instruments at home I already don't play, but who knows, if this month goes well, I might need to reconsider. So the first thing I wanted to do was make a practice schedule and put it into my calendar. That way I could carve out time every day to work on practicing at the beginning of each week. I decided to settle for a half hour of practice every day because that's the most time I thought I could consistently do on a daily basis. So this is day four, I think. Uh, I didn't film the first three days because I'm not that good at planning ahead. but. I've learned a lot. So far, I can make tones. Sometimes they're the right pitch. There's also always so much spit coming off of this instrument. It's disgusting. watching a few different videos that are sort of, you know, your first beginner trumpet lesson. One of them goes over the first five notes, which is um, in, in trumpet, not real notes, because it's a transposition instrument. Uh, the first note you play is either a C or a G. because of embouchure and whatever. Then you learn C, D, uh, E, F, and G. I called my friend Camden and set up a few Zoom lessons throughout the month. You can learn a lot about music and how to play an instrument from YouTube videos or online programs, but a lot of the technique and safety of owning and playing instruments can be lost without a real person monitoring your progress. Can you walk me through like the dummy's guide of embouchure and some things you would tell beginner students, maybe like beginner rep to look at or something like that? Just anything that you think would help sort of somebody who's brand new at it, you know? Yeah, for sure. Well, first of all, let's go to the embouchure first. So think about saying the syllable poo. Okay. Poo. Poo. Say it, say it a few more times. Just poo. 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 What are your lips doing? Um, they're... Pretty much closed at the corners, and then just yeah. like a small opening. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you have like tight corners. You have this like mushy middle, which you're uh -huh. not used to. So this thing about a, like a concert app. So I've noticed that the last couple days my hand has really been hurting holding the trumpet. So I definitely feel like I've been holding it the wrong way. So I'm about to look up how to hold a trumpet. And if that doesn't tell you where I'm at starting this month, I'm not sure what will. Six and a half minute video. Here's your first lesson for trumpets only. The first valve is the one closest to your mouth. Then the second one, then the third one. 
We're going to take our left hand, and basically they're going to grab those valves. Take your left hand thumb and put it around this first valve. You might have a little piece for your thumb to rest in. Your third finger, your ring finger, actually has a ring to go in. So your third finger can sit right in that ring. And that's because we're going to be pushing that slide in and out, which we'll do in another lesson. And your pinky is hanging that off of it. All right, this is day 10. I'm sorry to say, but I didn't practice yesterday. I ran out of time, but I logged in an hour the day before that. So it sort of balances out. Everything's uh, getting a lot easier, holding the trumpet the right way, which is exciting. I was told uh, you can either do it this way or middle finger, but I, this is what I'm sticking with for now. My mouth is getting a lot more used to the embouchure and air that's needed to play uh, different notes on the same position. Uh, from C, to G, to C. Overall, I'm still having a ton of fun learning this instrument. So far, I'm still covering basics like scales and easy songs, but it's giving me a ton of ideas to work with for the piece that I want to write at the end of the month. So in the brass class, we went over maintenance and cleaning the trumpet. And our instructor realized we weren't given anything to clean the trumpets with, just the trumpet and the mouthpiece. So I went out and got some tuning slide grease and some valve oil. I was also looking up some videos on how to clean your trumpet and I found out that people throw their trumpets into the shower to clean them. I thought it was a joke until I found like seven videos all saying, yeah, that's what we do. I'm renting this trumpet, so I'm definitely not gonna give it a shower, but I will grease it up. So this is my three week check-in for the trumpet. I've been practicing almost every day so far for this challenge and a lot of the fundamental concepts are getting a lot easier. Making noises generally is getting a lot easier and especially finding those partials on the same position. I have a big enough range that I can play folk songs that cover more than an octave now, so that's really exciting. I'm really excited to start writing a piece for the trumpet. I definitely think it's gonna be more of a folk song style vibe. Nothing too technically difficult, but I really wanna focus on the tone tone and phrasing of the instrument. <laughs> I'm sitting down to start coming up with ideas for the piece. Like I said before, I think I want it to be sort of a folky vibe. So I'm at the piano right now. I might transition over to guitar at some point, but we'll see what happens. So a lot of film scores are actually coming to mind. In a lot of movies, brass symbolizes sort of like the hero, you know, like the Superman theme, the French horns in the Dark Knight, that minor third. So even though I've just got a trumpet here, I'm noticing that next to the piano, it still sounds very heroic. And I've got a couple heroic sort of journeying lines that I'm thinking I'm gonna add to the piece.
so I'm starting to actually write some of the ideas down and the song's slowly coming together. I'm trying to find a good balance to where the music is interesting but still playable for me. I'm also having a little trouble figuring out exactly how I want to orchestrate the accompaniment. The trumpet for sure is going to be the main instrument but I don't know if I want piano, guitar, both, any percussion instruments. So I guess we'll figure that out as we go along. All right, so this is the week four check-in, and this has been a super fun month learning the trumpet. Like I said before, I had never touched a brass instrument, so I knew a lot of the musical concepts already. Now it was just physically getting used to the instrument. My playing ability right now from where I started is crazy, but the better I'm getting, the more I notice the mistakes I'm making, which is pretty normal. Right now my range goes from a low F sharp, which is the lowest note on the trumpet. <laughs> still good, to the high E on the staff. So still not the prettiest sound, but I can consistently get to it on purpose, which is nice. I've also gotten a lot better at using the tuning slides. So when you're playing a note, it might naturally fall flat or sharp depending on where it is in the trumpet. These tuning slides help correct that. The biggest example that I've been using is on the note D. <laughs> we would pull that third tuning slide out just to raise it up a little bit. Listening to the piece, it's pretty clear that I'm still bad at trumpet, but that's okay. I'm definitely better than I was a month ago, but I've still got a ways to go. This was a really fun challenge, and I think it gave me a lot of insight as a composer. I've always been uncomfortable writing for brass, and this was a big step forward. I liked how the piece turned out. It sounded sort of like a middle school band audition piece. And I'm okay with that. But what did you think? Did you like the piece? Was my subpar playing too distracting? Did you like this video? If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to know when my next video comes out. Thanks for watching.